All right, so we're here for episode three of my F123 mod career with Fernando Alonso for Australia. Straight into qualifying, uh, first lap was enough for P4, uh, but can we get even close to pole? Pole, we only need about a couple of tenths, maybe improvement. Already one tenth through the opening couple of corners there. A bit wide there, though, on the exit of the car park. We're actually still gaining time on our previous best time. So even though we, but that was a question we've got lost to the AI or not. Purple sector one, that's where, you know, sector one and sector two are where I'm strongest. Sector three is where I struggle uh, as well as we come through this sweeping new section. No DRS here, uh, unlike in real life for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. Of course, through the middle sector, green middle sector, not purple there. Through these horrible corners, the only two that I would wish they had actually replaced because they are horrible corners. Don't do much for overtaking. Through into then this technical section here, a uh, little wide there, missing the apex slightly there. Can we get this apex there? Yes, we can. Through to the final couple of corners then. Three and a half tenths up on our previous best time. Could that be enough for pole position out the final corner? The AO will have good traction up to the line. Four and a half tenths though. It's been a great, uh, almost five tenths up on our previous best time. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed our pole position of the season. Our first after our spoiler first win. Um, in Jeddah, so Verstappen only and Perez both a tenth behind those. So obviously we've got to keep an eye out for them. Leclerc P4, and have Hamilton, Russell, Sainz is appointed as well. Gasly, Norris P9, and Joe rounds out the top ten as well. Surprising Norris continues. To, his AI just is just a, a, continues to perform no matter how terrible the car is. Um, unlike what his real life style. Uh, Lance Stroll 11th, the Yuki Sonoda will be happy with 12th. Bottas disappointed considering where his teammate is, his star 13th. Hulkenberg leads the house, it's very tight down there as well. Um, as well, Ocon, Ocon disappointed again, De Vries 16th, Magnussen 17th, Piastri disappointed, and despite giving an performance improvement, it's the two Williams who will both start on the back row once again in this series, as well with Alex Albon ahead of Logan Sargent. As we move to the race then, it's nice here, and sunny spells, pretty much what's going to happen in the race, obviously they had rain earlier on today in practice but no such thing happening in today's race from pole position uh, race strategy is going to be a uh, one stop from soft to medium not medium to soft i did have a look at medium to soft um, but still not being able to get the delta to be better on medium to soft even close so so five foot lights then for the australian grand prix and from pole position and away we go it's the usual start on f122 for me as well there's somebody coming through you is that leclerc it is it's a definitely a ferrari there uh yeah leclerc's had a great start from p4 on the grid there's um i think that's verstappen going side by side down to turn three where martin brundle is his terrible accent all those years ago Right round the outside of Verstappen though as we pinched into the inside and we'll keep P2 for now. But here's a replay on wall, but take a take a bow. Charles Leclerc got Verstappen easily off the line. And it's just a matter of having the inside line, the better racing line, cut the apex. Gave me room to be fair on the inside there as well. And he's up to the into the lead. The same can't be said for his teammate. Uh, Carlos Sainz who's fallen behind Lando Norris. You can't be falling behind the McLaren. It's woefully slow and he'll be looking to get past his former teammate as soon as possible. Like now. He's got DR not no DRS just yet but he has got ERS available right around the outside of McLaren uh, through this section and that's a lovely little move by the Spaniard in the Ferrari. Can he now push on to the Mercedes as well as uh, that is um, Stroll getting past Piastri, excuse me, um, with um, Gasly also getting involved there. So again, um, Gasly not having the greatest starts as well. And unfortunately for Sainz, this moment I got a radio message to tell he's got an engine issue. So for usual Ferrari uh, scenes here, um, you know, I mean, as far as they're concerned, it's still 2021 for them. Sorry, 2022, excuse me. As um, stuff has go on the outside, we've got DRS though still from Leclerc, who's not getting away from it. So this is good news 
um, it means that we can have a look to try and get us the club on, as I said, I'm closest to him at this point in the circuit through the end of sector two. Uh, just got to have a good these sections we've gone. Uh, not I haven't got wide there, and we've had a good run out of the, into the third sector DRS zone. It's going to be comfortable. Move down the inside and we retake the lead on lap five as well. But Leclerc, of course, is going to have bigger ideas, as will Verstappen. Both of them will have DRS. They will have the OP traction out of the final corner, of course, um, as we move from right to left all over the place. So we go down the middle there. Um, I think and Verstappen has got in front of Leclerc. He could get a replay of this. I think Perez there in the pits as well. So he's making an early stop. So we go three wide between Verstappen and Leclerc. And then uh, Leclerc. Leclerc takes the inside, a little bit of dust on the inside. Verstappen is a better racing line. Verstappen's going to be all over the back of us now. Of course, he's the reigning world champion in the fastest car. A little bit of a wobble there to tell my engineer I'm boxing this lap. Verstappen has the, looks around the inside, we're comfortable. But again, we've got Y here. Horrible corner, as I keep saying. And Verstappen's going to have the DRS. I'm going to have to try and pinch him to the inside, swoop around the outside, he gives us the space, we give him a bit of the space as well, we're able to swoop around the outside and retain the lead for now, and that is Lewis Hamilton having a go at Leclerc, so Leclerc, this is going, ba this is going from bad to worse for Ferrari, because that is Hamilton past for, for Leclerc, who are really in this career mode, uh, for Mercedes is sorry Ferrari are so Mercedes are Ferrari's closest rivals at this moment in time. So we come in, Verstappen comes in, as does Leclerc, one of the Mercedes. Um, 2.3 seconds stop, not bad, out in clear air. Um, that's that is Sergio Perez coming down this pit straight. There, on the left hand side, is Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez was like he was in the mix with the Mercedes. He now leads. He's now the de facto race leader of this Grand Prix. Um, and for Verstappen, well, he decided to do a little bit of lawn mowing and lost out to both Leclerc and the two Mercedes as well. We're now going to get down the inside of Kevin Magnussen, who started on a medium compound tyre. He's just getting in the way in the house. Really, we need to get past as soon as possible and now Pat Magnussen has been a bit of a blockade for Hamilton that's going to allow Leclerc to go around the, right around the outside of Hamilton and get that position back after losing it before the pit stops so Leclerc now will be um, effectively P3 uh, from my, obviously Perez will lead from myself as um, you see they're all squabbling there lovely hat Lou from Hamilton to go right round the outside of Magnussen turns the inside a beautiful move and Magnussen is still getting involved as Russell's been caught napping there is Max Verstappen cool. Russell has a look down the inside no Magnussen blocks the blocks him off Magnussen actually pits and that's helping Verstappen out Verstappen now up to P6 as uh, we're watching Alex Albon and sadly for Alex the second Williams in a row uh, this last week it was last excuse me last race was Sergeant this time it's Albon who retires out of the race as um, we now move a, a little bit later in the Grand Prix uh, as, as well um, Leclerc and Hamilton are battling big time for third place Verstappen's closed up as well Hamilton has made that move now and is up to the position a show has had his spinala and has made contact with Logan Sargent. Sargent will need a new front wing and Joe has been given a five second penalty for that collision um, as well. Let me know what you think about that comment. It's a little bit harsh because, um, you know, he was stationary on track. Um, but, um, you know, that's, that's the thing. Unfortunately for us, we couldn't convert pole position today, but it is P2. Um, which you know it's more points on the board uh, obviously there's a gap to Red Bull although we did we did set a fast lap but Leclerc had the fastest lap overall so you know it is close up there at times Norris get P7 because Sainz was just um, a rolling roadblock in the end slowing everyone out which allowed Sonoda and Bottas to jump the likes of Gasly um, and Stroll who were ahead of those lot in the in the opening later stages to pick up some much needed points for those teams Stroll only finished outside the points yet again I don't know what is 
His AI is, you know, needs obviously needs an improvement for F123. Hulkenberg only 12th, Science 13th. Piastri will disappoint with 14th. Magnussen only 15th. Joe will be so 16th. Doesn't matter anyway because he'll be 16th anyway. De Vries, Ockel, and Sargent round out the grid. Neither of them will be in will be impressed by those results. So, it's all changed. Uh, Verstappen has dropped two places. Sergio Perez leads the championship by five points to ourselves as Fernando Alonso. Three points further back is Max Verstappen. He will, if this was real life, he will not be happy. You know, this is the thing. But Max is only happy, satisfied when he's in P1. Hamilton and Russell P4 or 5, but they're a bit way behind. Comfortable. Leclerc P6, Norris P7, lucky again. Sainz only 8th, and Gasly and Sonoda round out the top 10. The constructors, it's very simple for Red Bull. They're far out in front, so that's more allowing to Perez and to battle Verstappen. Mercedes copied by second. We're in third because. Um, Stroll's only contributed two points there. Ferrari fourth, and McLaren is fifth. Alpha Tauri have jumped Alpine as well, so Alpine will be not be looking happy to that. Um, with Al Alpha May getting their first points of the season as well, with Haas and Williams yet to score. So yes, if you have enjoyed this video, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and you see plenty more F123 more career modes. The next episode will be out in two weeks' time. So, um, you know, I've sort of followed this with the schedule when the race weekend is, um, but I've got something little, something different planned for my the Miami Grand Prix with this mod. So we're doing a little, uh, a special one-off race of somebody else in this, but using the livery and the performance for this mod. Um, as well so stay tuned for that as well that'll be coming out at the weekend of the miami grand prix so back will be out in two weeks time and then it'll be my followed by miami and, and the rest of the series so far so yes until the next day then i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching josh today and goodbye